All right, welcome back from that break. Let's go straight into a special uh, segment on the show where we have with us uh, Barista Olumide Osaibo Vakbata, a gubernatorial candidate for the upcoming Edo 2024 election. Now, there have been so many, so many uh, controversy surrounding his identity as being from Benin. And of course, some persons are saying, no, he's from Southwest. But he just uh, borrowed the name Osaibo Vakbata to add to his name, uh, just to get the attention of the Benin descendant. But we are going to be talking at that direction. And of course, we also going to be extraying some of his plans for the Edo people. Good morning and good to have you. Good morning, Dan. Thank you for having me. I'm extremely grateful, mm -hmm. extremely delighted to be in the studios of the ITV. Uh, growing up as a child in, in uh, Benin, in Wari, Mm -hmm. I grew up watching independent television. Oh. Well, not a child, as a youth at mm -hmm. that time. And uh, so at least I'm glad I'm now in your studios. And uh, I'm sure it will be a worthwhile experience. Thank you very much. And definitely, it's going to be an insightful time. Let's start with your identity. Mm. Some persons are saying you are one Yoruba man that actually just had a little background hair. So <laughs> why, do, why should we have somebody that is from Southwest? coming to run for the number one seat to start oh, with. Let's th clear thank that. You. Uh, thank you for the opportunity because mm -hmm. I have indeed heard this, uh, this preposterous rumor that uh, I am not a Bini man mm -hmm. or not, uh, not an Edo man. It's ridiculous. Uh, so let me, before we even go into the issue, let me make it clear again mm -hmm. to all those who are listening and those who are watching that uh, Olumide Osai Bovo Akpata is a Bini man. I am from the Akpata family of Benin, uh, where our family house is in Ibiwe. We, are also, we also trace our roots to Usain in uh, Ovia Southwest, uh -huh. local government of okay. the state. Uh -huh. That is my family. Uh, I think it's even really a problem if a, one Bini man will say, or any Bini person will say that an Akpata is not a Bini man. because. That tells me that we have not been teaching history in our schools. That tells me that we have almost abandoned our culture and tradition. Yeah. Because uh, for a family where my grandfather, Chief Johnson Ogunle Akwata, was the Obawoyi of Benin in 1939. Whoa. 1939. 1939. At that time, yeah. uh, it was not, it was, to the best of my knowledge, non Benins were not giving titles yeah. in the palace of the Oba of Benin. Uh, my father's eldest brother, Senator Olu Akpata. Mm. He represented Bendel Central at the time in the Senate. As a day. As 1979, he mm. represented us at the Senate. He was Emmanuel Idahosa, Olu Afemi Akpata. He was, when he died in 1998, he was the Obayuana of Benin. Wow. Uh, his younger brother, Justice Ephraim Akpata, mm. who, was a, who retired at the, from the Supreme Court in 1992 and became chairman of INEC in 1999. He's my father's elder brother. Wow. Uh, elder brother, mm. same father. Wow. Uh, I can go on and on. My uncle was also chief of Motayo Akpata. Mm. When he died a couple of years ago, he was the Ima of Benin. He had previously been the Oge Soba of Benin. We are a well-known and a very prominent as that <laughs> Benin family. Okay, I, I uh, think I died. I died. My wow. mother mm. is also Benin. Oh. And my mother was of the Obasanha family. My maternal grandfather's house was right on, no, it's, no, it's there, 15 First Secular mm -hmm. uh, Street in Benin. Okay. Uh, she's also of the Bazwai and Hero family. So those who bother, or who will bother to check, mm -hmm. will find out that uh, 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 there cannot be any doubt mm -hmm. about it. Obiadu Pataki. Pataki. <laughs> okay, now let's now, there are concerns still. Uh, the current governor, uh, Governor Gordon of Baseki is a Benin man. Yes. Uh, from your analysis, you are a full Benin person. Why have a Benin man go on with the administration when uh, there have been call for a call for uh, power shift to other senatorial district, Barista Akwata? Well, um, first and foremost, Governor Gordon of Baseki belongs to the last time I checked the People's Democratic Party. I am the gubernatorial flag bearer of the Labour Party. Okay. Um, zoning is not 
a clear science. Neither is it mathematics, uh -huh. as we were taught in school. The formula is not as clear <clears throat> as uh, one would like it to be. So for the Labour Party, the permutations were different. As you know, this is our first real shot at the uh, governorship of Edo State. Mm. And in determining who our flag bearer will be, we had to decide that we will put our best foot forward, irrespective of where this individual comes from within Edo State. Mm. It was a political calculation we had to make because the objective of this game is to win. And so we decided that since we are just coming to the table, mm. let us look for our best candidate. And so there were quite a number of us. The party threw it open to all within the state. So we had aspirants for Medo South of Bini Extraction. Mm -hmm. We had aspirants for Medo Central uh, of Esan Extraction. We had aspirants for Medo North, Esako. Extraction and even I think there was a yes there was a somebody from uh, the on one side of the fence. Okay, and we now decided that if we are going to win, mm. we would have to take that person who the entire party decides is our candidate. You will recall that in the presidential elections, mm. Labour where well, Labour Party is acclaimed to have done very well. Most all of that, if not most, if not all of what we achieved mm. was achieved in Edo South. We have a senator from Edo South. We have uh, two members of the House of Representatives from Edo South. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we decided, OK, when we now pick this person, mm -hmm. then we will start the clock called zoning. OK. You believe in power rotation? Do you? Absolutely. I believe in affirmative action. Affirmative action, which is of which zoning is a, a how do I put it, is an example. OK where there has been real or perceived imbalance, you must put in a mechanism that can create balance. That is what affirmative action is done all over the world. It's not new. It's not peculiar to Nigeria. In South Africa, you have the Black Empowerment Program. Mm. Right after apartheid, it was necessary to put mechanisms in place to make sure that our black brothers in South Africa were uplifted after years of uh, segregation and denial. Mm. In Australia, the Aborigines go through that, or have, be, have been taken through that process. In America, the American Indians. So affirmative action is nothing new, it's not strange. It helps to bring about balance, equity, mm -hmm. and so on and so now, forth. Just a just few months back, some uh, members of the National Working Committee of your party, the Labour Party, actually came on live television to allege that you were a plan B to the state government. We would like to clear that area too, uh, because Edolites are watching. But no, Baseki had you as a plan B. We have to stick to the facts. Mm. That some members of the NWC of my party. Yes, they, 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 they suspended. They suspended national treasurer, for instance. Actually, we had her on this show, and she alleged that uh, you are actually a plan B to this government. Now you are very, Do you have any you connection? Oluchi Okpara. Oluchi Okpara. Yes, I watched that interview. She could never have said that. You think so? Impossible. We'll have to go and look at that tape. You again. think so? Yes. But there are speculations. Yes, I agree. There are speculations. But I just want us to put it in proper so context. So are you, are you a plan B Absolutely. to Governor Baseki? Absolutely we not. We need to clear that area. Absolutely not. As I've said many times before, head the big person can cap. You understand? <laughs> uh, so, and I will repeat it here. Mm. Uh, I cannot be a plan B, C, D, or E to anybody. Olu Mideo Saigbovo Akpata is his own man. I am here because I believe I have value to add to a do state. Uh -huh. I was not sent on this mission by any man. Uh, the least of all, the governor of a do state. First and foremost, he belongs to the People's Democratic Party. I believe that they have done, uh, they performed woefully uh -huh. in government. His party and himself. They have not done well? Absolutely not. But he's your cousin, by according to some persons. You are related? He, Godwin Obaseki is my elder friend. Okay. Right? Uh, when we use the word cousin, uh, it's in a loose sense. Oteme, Oteme, okay. Oteme. But I will not deny my friendship with him or my relationship with him. No. We both live in Lagos or lived in Lagos. And you know, in Lagos, 
uh, when you are in a land where you are a stranger, you kind of like you, you, you seek out those with whom you have you share a common background. We are both Benin men, okay. so I have known him for many years, mm. and uh, he is he has been a friend, and I'm sure he will consider me one also. But that has nothing to do with the issues at stake. I just mentioned to you. I called the names of two of my uncles. You did. Senator Olu Akpata. Mm. I also mentioned Chief Tayo Akpata. They are cousins, right? Mm. Both bearing the surname Akpata. One was senator representing the U U UPN in 1979. And the other was chairman of NPN in Bendel State. Mm. They had lunch every weekend together because they, are, they were brothers. The, the way I was raised, you can agree to disagree. The way I was raised, it is a contestation of ideas. Mm. And the superior idea or the superior argument will always prevail. Now, in the build up to the elections, to the primaries, uh, some actors are saying we don't want people from outside. If you reside in Lagos, remain in Lagos. If you do business in Lagos, remain there. We need homeboys. And from what you just said now, you actually lived and had good life in Lagos. Why? You are not a grassroots politician, Barista Akwata. I, I, I do, do, to, do you think you have what it takes to I, do a good politics? I, I, absolutely. You know, you know, I beg to disagree. You cannot, we cannot do what I call inbreeding. So only those who live in Edo can, mm -hmm. run, can aspire to run Edo. Adam Soshomele, did he live in Edo? Adam Soshomele, for the best of my knowledge, has always lived in Kaduna. Right? Before he now went on to become president of the NLC. Professor Seremi Osumbo, did he live in Edo? I think that is such a parochial, uh, very, very, very narrow construct to say only those who live. I, 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 I went to, I moved to Lagos in the 90s to practice my profession. That's a long time ago. Yes. Very long time ago. Oh, well, yes. But that, how does that make me any less an Edo man or a man who, can, who is in touch with my roots? Mm. I've, had a, I've kept a home in Benin for the last, what? 20, almost 20 years, a home in Benin. I come home all the time. I, mean, I went to the University of Benin. If I go come into town today, my friends are my friends. We all grew up together. You still parley with them? I'm in, I'm in touch with my people. My friends are my friends. If I, let me speak in PG, if I enter mm. Benin, I blow whistle. All my guys go show. So you, you speak pigeon too? I, I be worried, boy. Are you, aren't you aware? <laughs> I grew up with, In fact, I think in pigeon. Oh, really? I translate into English. But oh, it just blew my mind anyway. Uh, now, yeah. let, let's take it a little bit further. Uh, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party uh, he's, he's a barrister. He has done well too uh, as an individual. Uh, you too, you were one time NBA national uh, president. You were also done well. Do you think, if we want to put the two of you in front of the horse, uh, will you? Do you think you have the capacity to outdo uh, whatever this current government have done? And do you think, among all other candidates across party lines, the APC, Senator Mondo Babolo, is there is a businessman? We have a uh, Pastor Azeme Azena of the NNPP. We have a Kechi uh, in the DK of the PRP. Do you think you have the capacity to outshine some of these candidates in the ballot? If I did not think so, I would not be in the race. I think I'm the best man for the job. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned uh, my, 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 my senior friend and okay. colleague, Aswe Igodalo, mm -hmm. who's, who is the candidate of the, the PDP. PDP. Yes, uh, yes, we have, uh, he's a lawyer. Yes, a very senior one at that. And it seems to be a heavyweight as far as this race is concerned. Aren't you scared? Heavyweight. Uh, aren't you, when you use the word heavyweight and you look at me. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it by size? Wait, uh, no, I'm wondering what you mean by heavyweight. If it's size, let's go, and, let's go on the scale and find out who is heavier. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously mm. speaking, mm. seriously speaking, uh, for all intents and purposes, mm. right? Uh, Pound for pound, there's really nothing uh, Aswe Godalo can put on the table that I cannot. He's a lawyer, yes. I was president of the bar. I was his president, mm. right? Uh, he has run a law firm, or he's running a law firm. I've done the same thing. So let us, I don't really want to bother myself with 
mm. uh, our respective antecedents. I leave that to the electorate to judge, to say to you that, no, I'm not even, I'm not even phased for one second. No shaking. Let's, the people will judge and determine. And then, then you have to consider that uh, uh, you must also look at the issue of energy, okay. youth. Mm. Um, that particular candidate is middle 60s knocking on 70. I'm not so sure it's fair to the other people, right? For, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the government has not a retirement home. Okay. I don't say government has not a retirement home. So, so you must, when you ask me, what do I think I have mm. that, is, uh, that will put me in better stead than uh, the other people who are in the race? Uh, youthful energy, right? Mm. I'm in touch with that demography. The people who are referred to as the future of the country. Okay, let's quickly see how to manage our time, uh, Mr. Akbata. Uh, to an extent, Labour Party is always in the spotlight. Currently, the NLC and the Labour Party, there seems to be a kind of disconnection. Uh, Joa Jero, who is the leader of the NLC, is calling for the suspension or removal from office of uh, Barrister Julius Abue. Do you think that will affect your candidacy as the flag bearer of Labour Party in the States? Well, you know, any crisis, if not properly managed, mm. can balloon into proportions that were not hitherto contemplated and that can cause that can affect it can have then you can have what they call collateral damage so i am keeping an eye on this situation yeah. uh, and uh, as a leader in the party myself i'm doing my best to ensure that we get to the root cause of the matter and resolve it no organization people by no organization people by human beings is uh, free from such uh, um, uh, issues or rancor mm -hmm. now and again. It's just that we have mechanisms in place to deal with such problems. Uh, you all I know, uh, okay. all I know mm -hmm. in this matter, I'm a lawyer. You know, there's always the danger of a sing what they call the single narrative, mm -hmm. as uh, Chimamanda Adichie put it. You must always hear from both sides. Is it, is it politically motivated? Uh, it's a political party, so so politics will always be in the fray, right? Mm -hmm. All I know is that I have spoken to both sides. Uh, the NLC say that they have what they call an out of uh, they have what you call an out of court mm -hmm. uh, uh, settlement, whereby they came to the party and the Congress came to some agreement on how the affairs of the party are to be conducted going forward. Mm -hmm. And all the NLC, they say all they're asking for now mm. is that the party must adhere to the terms of that, uh, the, the, the settlement. Mm. That's what I hear from one side. The other side say we are adhering to those terms. Okay. And we have not done anything mm. outside of those terms. So obviously there are issues there. And so we sit down. Some of us will have to mediate. And some of us will have to try and find the... Uh, a middle ground or a middle, middle cause mm. that will lead to the resolution of uh, this, this present issue. L I want to take you to um, Edo Central. To an extent, uh, people of that extraction, they are of the opinion that they have been marginalized for a while now. And having you as the front runner of the party uh, ahead of the governorship election, uh, they still feel they are not carried along to an extent. What will you do if elected uh, into office to bridge that gap? Labour Party is different. We come to the table with, uh, with a different perspective. Mm. And I, my promise to all uh, indigenous of Edo State, particularly those who believe that they have been marginalized or they've been hard done by, we will correct the imbalances, Labour Party. Those pe the people from Edo, Edo Central uh, have a very, very perfect uh, uh, argument, mm. right? But I put it to you that Indeed, there's other persons or groups in Edo that have been, uh, that have been kept away mm. from the center stage. Do you know that Akoko Edo has been the same local government since 1963 or thereabouts? Same local government. Mm. So it took my going around the state when I was uh, participating in the Labour Party primaries. I went around three times. I went to see the people. I went to meet the people. Mm. And I found out that there are many issues. There are many inequities 
Okay. So, so away from Edo Central, even Edo not Edo so North. Okay. Uh, uh, particularly those of the Akoko Edo extraction mm. and Owa, they have so their agitations from that end. Mm. Edo Central, their agitations from that end. And I put the blame squarely at the feet of those who have who have uh, been at the helm of affairs mm. in our state because they come up with zoning just before elections as a convenient uh, argument. Mm. But once they get into power, they only, they, they only pay lip service to the issue. Okay, quickly, you, we, you have 10 seconds. Talk to Edo Light. Why should they vote for you? I, my, the good people of Edo State, I think, you know, we are uh, done. I can't be say, telling them mm. why they should vote for me at this point. You, know, you, we you are think not, so? We okay, are okay. not uh, mm. within the campaign uh, okay. uh, time window. Mm. Well, all I can say is that uh, Edo people will need, would, um, should, should uh, gear up for phenomenal change. Mm. Labour Party will have conducted our primaries. Labour Party has a candidate now. Mm. At the right time, once the regulator, mm. INEC, okay. give us the uh, go-ahead, mm. you will see that we are a different party. Our logo is Papa, Mama, mm. Pekin. We are people-centric, people-focused. Mm. And our policies and programs will prioritize the people. So quickly, where is your running mate coming from? Uh, well, you because see, we've not heard from you till now. Uh, running mate issues are not issues that are dealt with by one individual. Mm. It's a collective uh, decision. I cannot at this point you tell you. Do you have any specific uh, sectoral addiction in mind? Uh, as no, a person? I, as I, a person. Do. Mm. I do. Okay. But uh, those cards you keep close to your chest until it is time to announce. It's a couple of days we we'll make the announcement, but I cannot on national television tell you today uh, because uh, it's, still, it's still subject to uh, scrutiny. Okay. So it will not be fair to those concerned for me to begin. But you can be sure yeah. that uh, we will take equity into consideration, okay. justice into consideration, yeah. fairness into consideration in arriving at the individual who will, uh, who will be on the ticket with me okay. for the Labour Party. Well, thank you so much. Uh, well, they actually said you are our guy. You just proved us right. We will we'll hope to see you again on the I show. I am your guy. You are our guy. I assure you. <laughs> I wish you all the best uh, in thank your you. uh, endeavors. Uh, we'll be